Welcome to part two of calculating when a tree should drop its leaves. So we left off calculating what delta was, so we're just going to pick it right up from there. Um, let me turn this slightly. There we go. Okay. So uh, we're going to plug in this value for delta. Uh, so we have uh, that cosine omega t is equal to the negative tangent of lambda times the tangent of the arc sine of sine epsilon sine of alpha. And alpha is 2 pi n over 365.24. So 2 pi n over 365.24. Um, and some of you might be thinking, well, arc sine of sine is just the argument of whatever the sine is. But arc sine of sine of some argument times sine of some other argument, the sine and arc sine do not cancel. Uh, so you are stuck with using it in this form. And later on we'll use some trigonometric identities to reduce it a bit further. Uh, but for now we're, we're stuck with this. So now it's actually going to get worse because now we have to take the inverse cosine or arc cosine of both sides. So to be, because we want to solve for t. So uh, taking the arc cosine you have omega t is equal to the arc cosine of negative tangent lambda tangent of arc sine of sine epsilon sine 2 pi n over 365.24. Now we're going to divide by omega and we have t. Hooray! So t is equal to the arc cosine of negative tangent lambda. Actually, why don't I, I don't know why I'm writing this out. So t equals all of that over omega. You uh, guys don't have to listen to me recite all that again. Um, so now, this is actually a random interesting fact. Uh, so n is the days of the year, right? And t is the amount, uh, is the time of uh, sunset and sunrise, right? The amount of, so the amount of time between that. Um, and uh, also, I just want to, I think I forgot to mention this earlier, t uh, is defined, we're defining uh, t equals zero as noon. Uh, and t is in terms of hours. So, the interesting fact part of this is if you integrate this equation uh, f in terms of n from 0 to 364, since there, uh, the most you can have right, is 364 days since the past summer equinox, um, you will get, uh, so the integral of t in terms of n from 0 to 364 is equal to 4368 hours. And that is in fact the amount of sunlight that you get in a year if you're in Boston. Uh, so random interesting tidbit there. Um, this is good though, because now we have T. So I'm going to move over to this side. So now that we have t, actually I'm going to erase this too. Uh, so if you want to write down what t is, if you're taking notes for some reason, pause the video now and write it down. Awesome. Okay. So like we said, i naught uh, is or i equals i naught cosine beta. Um, so we now we have now that we have what t is, we have um, i is equal to i naught, and what we're doing, as I mentioned before, is integrating over an entire year, which is going to be the integral from 0 to 364 in terms of n, and we're also integrating over the day, which we found our values for t. So uh, instead of writing that whole value for t out, 
for that bound, I'm just going to call it negative tau and positive tau. So you'll have negative tau and positive tau. Um, and that's the value we just found. And then we have uh, this of cosine beta. And remember that cosine beta was that long equation. So we have sine lambda, sine epsilon, sine 2 pi n over 365.24 plus cosine lambda, cosine of arc sine of sine of epsilon, sine 2 pi n over 365.24 times cosine omega t and that we're, that integral, this whole thing is the integral and we're integrating in terms of time, with respect to time and some of you also might be wondering why I use tau as the bounds instead of t um, and just because a uh, convention uh, in calculus you don't want to have the same a variable that you're integrating in terms of uh, also in the bounds, so that's, that's how we're doing that um, so from here, we just integrate that with respect to time. So now we have that i is equal to i naught times, we still have the integral from 0 to 364 with respect to n, uh, but now we're evaluating the integral. So we're evaluating this. Uh, if you have an integral of something that's a sum, you can evaluate it separately. So the integral of this, there's no t in here, so we just multiply uh, by a t. So you have sine lambda, sine epsilon, sine 2 pi n over 365.24, evaluated from negative tau to tau. Plus, we do have a t in here because we have the omega t, but there's no t in any of the other stuff. And all of this stuff is just multiplying that, so this is constant. Um, and then we just integrate the cosine. And integral of cosine omega t is 1 over omega times sine omega t. So now we have uh, 1 over omega times cosine lambda, cosine of arc sine of sine epsilon, sine 2 pi n over 365.24 times sine omega t. And this is also being evaluated from negative tau to tau. And remember that negative tau is sunrise and positive tau is sunset. Right? Because those are the values for uh, at which t is equal to uh, cosine beta is equal to zero, which means that the sun is either on this side of the horizon or that side of the horizon. So it's either rising or it's setting. So we have that. Excellent. Um, so next, we actually have to plug in t. Sadly, and t is kind of ridiculous if you remember. So now we're going to have uh, that i is equal to i naught times the integral from 0 to 364 with respect to n times and this is where the math gets a little uh, unfortunate um, 